Greetings. This is our virtual announcement of our Best of Windsor Essex Awards, our fifth annual. Originally, we planned to announce these awards, of course, on March 25th in a ceremony, but due to COVID-19, that has prevented us from doing so. But we're pleased to be launching it here today, and we've been patiently waiting to do so, but we're waiting no more. We're going to share the good news with you now. You know, as our industry partners prepare to open their doors, and it, we felt it was timely to announce the winners of the fifth annual Best of Windsor Essex Awards, because as they restart their businesses, we want to highlight and showcase them. We're going to announce the 45 awards today, and as voted by you between the periods of February 3rd through 24th, and over 12,000 people casted votes. The winners will receive a plaque, but receive some bragging rights, and we hope they hang that plaque with pride in their place of establishment. And they're also featured in our latest edition of the 2020-2021 Official Visitor Guide, and they're featured at bestofwindsoressex.ca. I have an all-star team here lined up, to help me announce all of the award winners, I have the Mayor of the City of Windsor, Drew Delkins, the County of Essex Warden, Gary McNamara, and for my own team, I've got Lynette Bain and Jason Toner. So without further ado, I'd like to turn it over to Warden McNamara to start with the first set of award winners. Warden? Thank you, Gore. To start the awards, we will be highlighting the first of the winners of the Arts and Entertainment category. Our first award, Best Art Gallery or Art Space. The winner is the Art Gallery of Windsor. Best Entertainment Venue, the Coliseum at Caesars Windsor. This is the fifth year of Caesars Windsor receiving this award. Best Museum or Heritage Space. Fort Malden National Historic Site in Amherstburg. Best Theater Experience, the Capitol Theater. Best Tour Experience, Windsor Eats. Our next category is Attractions and Events. Our first award is Best Local Attraction, Family Friendly. Colasantes Tropical Gardens. Colasantes is going on a fifth year of winning the Family Friendly Awards category. Next is Best Location Attraction, Gaming. Caesars Windsor. Congratulations also to Caesars Windsor on winning this award for the fifth year in a row. Best Location Attraction, Historical, Willistead Manor. Best Local Festival and Arts, Art in the Park. Best Local Festival Community Holiday Event, Bright Lights, Windsor. Best Local Festival Family and Fairs, the Harrow Fall Fair. Best Local Festival Food and Drink, the Carousel of Nations, a fifth year award winner. Best Local Festival Music, Blues Fest, Windsor. And our last award in this category, Best Local Festival Street Event, the Walkerville Distillery District Night Market. So congratulations to all. To share more of our winners, I would like to turn this over now to Mayor Dilkins. Well, thank you, Warden. The first category I'll be announcing is drink. From our proud history of prohibition to craft breweries, award-winning wineries, and a vibrant coffee culture, Get ready to take a sip in Windsor, Essex. The first award is the Art of a Cocktail. Congratulations to Maiden Lane Wine and Spirits. For best brewery experience, the award goes to Walkerville Brewery. Walkerville Brewery is walking away with this award for the fifth time. The best coffee house in Windsor, Essex, the award goes to Anchor Coffee House. For best winery experience, 
is Pelee Island Winery, and congratulations to Pelee Island Winery on taking this award for the first time. I'll continue on to the food category. Windsor, Essex has some of the most unique bites and flavors in the region, and we are proud to be a foodie destination. The award for best breakfast goes to the Twisted Apron. The best burger joint, this award goes to Mamo Burger, and this is the fifth time that Mamo Burger has received this award. The best fine dining space, that award goes to Metawas Mediterranean Restaurant. For best ice cream, the winner is Dairy Freeze. And for best pasta house, congratulations to Spago. The award for best perch goes to Jack's Gastro Pub in Kingsville. For best pizza bragging rights, that award goes to Armando's, and Armando's is not only winning this award for the fifth year in a row, but was also named the best pizza in Canada last year. Congratulations, Armando's. The award for best sushi in Windsor, Essex, this year it goes to Koi Sushi. For best sweet treat, congratulations to Sweet Revenge Bake Shop. The best taco in Windsor, Essex, that award this year goes to the Grand Cantina. Best vegan or vegetarian bites, the winner is Carrots and Dates. And for the best spot for wings, congratulations to Rock Bottom Bar and Grill taking this award for the fifth year in a row. Best wishes and congratulations to each of the recipients. Thank you for helping to make Windsor, Essex an incredible place to live and visit. I'll turn things over now to Lynette Bain from Tours in Windsor, Essex to announce some of our other winners. Thank you. Thank you, Drew. I'm going to take you through two award categories today, starting with Outdoor Adventure. Our first award is for the best beach, and the winner is Point Pelee National Park. The best birding hotspot, no surprise, is also Point Pelee National Park. And for the best golf course, winning for the fifth year in a row is Kingsville Golf and Country Club. The best on the water activity is Urban Surf Company. The best park or garden is Kings Navy Yard Park in Amherstburg. And the last Outdoor Adventure Awards is the best trail, which for the trifecta is Point Pelee National Park again. Our next award category is shopping. With retail shops now reopening, it's now more important now than ever to support local. The first award is the best boutique shop, and that goes to Cindy's in Kingsville. The best locally made store, celebrating gifts and souvenirs made in Windsor, Essex, is the Urban Art Market. The best mall, winning for the fifth year in a row, is Devonshire Mall. The best shopping district is the Walkerville BIA. To continue with the awards, I'll now throw this over to Jason Toner from our team at Tourism Windsor Essex. Thanks, Lynette. Our next award category is Stay, Great Overnight Accommodations in Windsor Essex. Our first award is for Best Bed and Breakfast, and the winner is Iron Kettle Bed and Breakfast, winning for the fifth year in a row. Our next award is Best Campground, Leisure Lake RV Resort, Best Cottage, Holiday Beach Cottage, and the final stay award is Best Hotel, going to Caesars Windsor, winning for the fifth year in a row. Our final award from today's event is the Best Photo Op. And congratulations to our winner, the City of Windsor and the Windsor Waterfront. That is our last award of today's presentation, and I'll throw it back to Gordon Orr, the CEO of Tours of Windsor Essex, to close today's event. Thank you, Jason. And thank you to everyone who voted to make this year's event such a success. You know, we're very grateful to all of our winners and even our finalists for being some of the finest examples of what we have to see and do right here in our own backyard in Windsor, Essex. And we thank them very much. And you can now see all of the winners and finalists at bestofwindsoressex.ca. And congratulations again, of course, and when it's safe to do so. We look forward to welcoming back our visitors uh, to the wonderful tourism attractions and amenities highlighted at bestofwindsoressex.ca. And when you start planning your summer staycation, we hope you do so right here in Windsor, Essex. YQG stands strong when we stand together.